Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the temperature sensor in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, a putty knife, a side cutters, and a couple of zip ties. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is mounted on the Freon tube on the top of the evaporator inside the fresh food compartment. If you discover a warmer than usual compartment and a snow packed rear evaporator cover, and the evaporator itself and there is no or very little air flow coming out of the air ducts, the temperature sensor should be tested and replaced if needed. In order to get it apart, we need to open the fresh food door. We will start with removing shelves. Let's remove the drawers. Now we're going to remove those two light covers. I'm going to use the putty knife and press against the locking tab here. And open it. Now I'm going to remove it from the three hinges at the back. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. To take off the uh, evaporator cover, we need to remove the six Phillips screws, so two on the top, two in the middle, and two at the bottom. So we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver and we're going to take them one by one out. And now I'm going to remove the cover. Hold, hold the cover, don't let it go, and we need to remove these plugs. Push down on the tab, pull the plug, push down on the tab, pull out the plug. We're going to replace this uh, temperature sensor that is mounted on the top of the coil. We're going to start with cutting a couple of uh, zip ties, I'm going to use the side cutters. And I'm going to turn the holder and uh, using the flat blade screwdriver, I'm going to pry these two locks open. And I'm going to open the holder and remove it from the coil. And next thing would be the unplugging that bottom plug, press the tab and pull the plug. Right, uh, pull out the sensor bulb from the holder. Put it aside, we're going to use it with a new temperature sensor. This is the old temperature sensor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Right, now I'm going to install the uh, new temperature sensor into the holder. And let's install the holder onto the uh, upper tube of the evaporator. I'm going to lock this on and then I'm going to place this in the groove and then uh, lock it up here. And we're going to plug this into the lower plug. And now we're going to take care of this extra length. All right, let's uh, Secure it. And first, uh, use the uh, one zip tie here at the bottom. And 
and another one here at the top. Cut the extras with the side cutters. And now we can install the uh, evaporator cover. Let's bring the cover panel in. And we're going to plug in these two outlets here. That's one for the lights and one for the fan motor. And then we can install the panel and secure it with the six Phillips screws. Now we can install the light lenses. And I put those three hinges in and then press the locking tabs and do the same thing on the left side and the shield room shelf goes back in and all the drawers and let's put the shelves back in now we can close the door plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com for any of your future appliance repair projects please check out our other videos available on our site on facebook on youtube and on instagram 